This video is going to address the topic of measures of center, specifically mode. So let's go ahead and get our page set up. We need a horizontal line that's about four spaces down from the top and a vertical line that's approximately five or six spaces in from the left hand side. Once we have our lines in place, remember we need to put our header at the top right hand corner. We're going to put the day's date and we're going to put the topic. This time the topic is measures of center mode. The essential question is what we are trying to solve or learn by the end of the lesson. For this video, the essential question is what is the mode and how do we calculate it? The mode is a measure of center. It's one way to think about an average. There are two other types of measures of center, the mean and the median. The mode is the value or category that occurs the most often in a set of data. Do you ever eat pie a la mode? It's very popular. Mode is the data point that is the most popular. That is, it occurs the most often. Most starts with the letters M-O and so does mode. That's one way I remember that the mode measures what is most popular. Let's say I kept track of the number of cookies that I ate every day for the last week. I'm going to record the seven numbers that represent the cookies I ate each day of the week. You can see on some days I ate as few as two cookies, and on one day I ate as much as eight cookies. In this set, the number two appears more often than all the other numbers. I ate two cookies on two different days last week. No other number was repeated. The mode in this data is two. Let's try another one. In this set of data, I'm going to keep track of the number of miles I ran over a period of 10 days. On the first day, I ran four miles. The second day, I ran seven, and so on. Based on this data set, what would you say the mode is? Did you notice there were two values that were both repeated the same number of times? I noticed that on three occasions, I ran three miles. But I also, in the last 10 days, ran four miles three different times. In this case, the mode is both three and Four. You can have more than one mode if a number repeats the same amount of times as another value. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, I surveyed five students about how many pets they had at home. I'm going to record the results of my survey. According to these results, what would be the mode? What is the most common number of pets that students have in our class? If you noticed that there was no mode, you are correct. No number here appeared more than one time. So in this situation, there is no mode. It's possible to have one mode, two modes, five modes, or even no modes, depending on the data that you have. I'm going to put up a set of numbers, and I just want you to jot down the mode for each of the sets that I put up. Take a moment to think about each of the modes for these three sets of data. Pause the video so that you can have enough time, and then check and see if you got the same mode that I did. How would you do? Hopefully, now that we've watched this video, we have learned one measure of center, and that is mode. We know what it is, and we know how to find it in different situations. If you need to rewind anything on the video to rehear anything or to practice anything again, go ahead and do so. And remember, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to write questions on the left-hand margin.